what's going on my young lads and welcome to today's video my name is Richard from assembled style and today I'm gonna go over my recent thrift pickups so I don't know where to start really so I'm just gonna go straight into the shoes so the first pair of shoes are a pair of these Magnani horse bit loafers now these were on sale for ten dollars but since the color tag was uh, half per half half off I ended up getting them for five dollars still in relatively good condition soles always have to be replaced when it comes to thrifting shoes that's just how it goes now the next pair of shoes um, I actually ended up finding two of these it's a pair of these Park Avenues by Alan Edmonds now these I got for seven dollars um, I ended up getting a a size like 13 or something the other one but I ended up just selling that one on eBay and keeping this pair for myself because they do fit but yeah it's still in very good condition I can actually still wear these um, the soles are still decent so yeah that's one pickup right there now the next shoe are a pair of Xenia penny loafers now these I ended up getting them for six dollars um, the leather is very, very soft on these. I've never really tried a pair of Zegna shoes or even checked them out in, like in stores or anything like that. But yeah, pretty nice shoe. Um, of course, soles have to be replaced as well. All right. Now the next pair is another pair of Allen Edmonds horse bit loafers. It's all, it's honestly, it's all been about loafers lately. Anything I find, I come across as like of any value is just, is this a pair of penny loafers? But anyways, um, these penny loafers are the Morona 2s. Now these were specifically made in Italy. Um, I got these for $8 right there. So they're right there, $8. Um, still cleaning these up, still in good condition as well. And you know, the soles need new soles as well. But yeah, it's gonna be quite costly getting all these repaired. But in the end, I do save money and I'm also supporting uh, my local cobblers, so. Whew. I feel like I'm rushing this video because I really am, and I'm caffeinated, but uh, let's move on to the blazers. I'll move on to the next one. I actually wanna share this one with you. This one is a silk slash linen window pane blazer by Keton. Now, this is my first time ever finding Keton at a thrift store, so I was pretty psyched about this one. Um, what can I say about it? I mean, if you don't know what Keton is, I highly suggest you look into it. Very, very high-end brand. And this, I believe it cost me about $12. This is possibly the cheapest suit that I own to date. It cost a total of $7. It is this Laura Piana uh, pinstripe suit. This is actually bespoke. Um, the, but the thing is, it didn't include the original pants, so let me explain. The blazer cost me a dollar because the store was having a sale on blazers, but the pants, I ended up getting it for $6, and they're not the original pants, but they do look very close. They look very similar if I was to wear them. Um, but yeah, very nice suit, very high end, very well made, has pick stitching, half canvas, and it is bespoke, it even has the original owner's name on it. And you know, a fun thing that I like to do is just Google some of these names on these suits. And this guy right here is like a CEO of a luxury, a luxury fabric company who does bespoke uh, suits as well. So you can tell this is pretty, this is a pretty high end stuff. But another thing is any, anytime I Google somebody's name on a, on a suit jacket or something custom made or very expensive, they are in prison right now or something. They're, they're in prison. There's some type of criminal that did some type of fraud, which is weird. The next blazer is this very nice window pane by Giorgio Armani. This one was a little bit pricier compared to the other stuff that I'm about to show you. Uh, it's very recent. This is not like a vintage item. This is part from their Taylor C series. So it's like very, very fitted, very slim. I don't think I'm gonna keep this one. But yeah, I just got excited when I first when I saw this. So this was about like 20 bucks. Next blazer is by Canali, and what a surprise! It's another window pane blazer. Uh, Canali is another you know very you know high end Italian maker brand. Uh, I think I got this one for like about eight to ten bucks. 
Um, this one is more of a, a classic cut, so I do have to get it tailored, but I just love how soft the shoulder is on Canali's blazers. I actually used to own, well, I still own one, but I haven't worn it, but yeah, I just forgot about Canali's though, so I definitely have to shop more of that. Speaking of Canali, I did pick up this silk linen blend blazer as well, but I didn't get it from a thrift store. I actually got it at Poshmark and it cost me $12. I've seen some comments about you know some guys not finding anything good at their local thrift store and if that's the case I highly suggest you go on Poshmark you'll be surprised on the stuff you'll find for me I mean come on $12 for this thing and you know I do, it does need some minor alterations but overall I mean this is just an awesome find for a very good price and I think like I think I have like a like a share refer a friend or something like that where you could actually get ten dollars worth of credit if you were to sign up for Poshmark. This is not a sponsored video actually. So yeah, if you if you don't have any luck at the thrift stores, definitely check out Poshmark. All right, moving on to the next one. Forgot to share another Poshmark find. Um, this is a herringbone herringbone blazer and it is by Palzaleri. I actually got this from the same seller. She actually ended up selling it to me for about. I want to say ten dollars. I don't know. I'll post a screenshot for you guys to see. But yeah, this is by Palzaleri. This is actually a silk and wool blend blazer with suede elbow patches, quarter lining, which is something that I really, really been doing a lot lately in terms of blazers. I'm not. I'm not. I'm going more unstructured lately. So yeah, this is just going to be a very nice. Nice to wear during the fall slash winter time or if I ever, ever, ever get to travel again. I don't know. Caffeine is really kicking in. I'm sorry if I'm very jittery right now, but here's another find at a Goodwill. This is a chambray blazer. This is by Ralph Lauren, but not just any Ralph Lauren. This is a purple label Ralph Lauren that is made in England or Italy. Very, very pricey, very expensive. Um, yeah, $8. Yeah, pretty cool. Now I know most of you guys think I'm like some sort of brand whore because that's all I show in this video. But sometimes I come across some good stuff that are not branded. And it is, this is one of them right here. It is this like wool slash cashmere coat. And this is actually made by some, I don't know who the maker is, but it's made in Italy. And yeah, it's just very nice. Unlined, which is I love, no polyester lining. And I just love those peak lapels, man. I was actually planning on getting something custom made, but now since I've come across this, all I need to do is just go to the tailor and I'm good to go. So yeah, pretty, pretty awesome find. This right here was about, I think it was like five bucks. All right, I think I'm done, but I don't know if I'm really, really done, but I just don't want to make a mess at the studio, but I'll show you guys this right here. I'm going to show you my I don't know what number is this, what number three? My my third trench coat by Burberry. <laughs> but this one's actually like nicer compared to the other ones that I that I showcased for you guys on the other video. But this right here is a nylon trench coat by Burberry. It came with all the bells and whistles. It came with the belt. It came with the wool lining, which is very difficult to come across when you're out thrifting. Most of the times I've seen some that are just in very bad condition or they're just missing something. But yeah, this one, um, this one was about, it wasn't that cheap. Um, I mean, it was cheap. This one was about, I wanna say this was about $25. All right guys, that's all I have to share with you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And yeah, like I said, if you don't have any luck finding stuff at your local thrift shop, go on Poshmark. And if you're not signed up, Sign up using the link down below. You'll get 10, 10 bucks. And I think I get 10 bucks as well. So who knows? Maybe you'll end up paying $2 for something cool. But yeah, guys, uh, let me know what you guys think of the video. Let me know if you guys, you know, thrift as well. If you found anything cool, leave it down in the description. Uh, leave it down in the comments below. Man, I'm so rusty today, man. And it's been a month since I've been in front of the camera. But thank you guys for watching, gents. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.